welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheyenne and my wife and I are on a journey to pay off debt while also saving for our future goals at the same time. Today is Friday. I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. <sighs> sorry if I'm out of breath. I just ran up the steps to get my calculator because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be counting on odd numbers and I just don't have it in me today. So I got my calculator. But I'm sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday or last week, not yesterday, last week. If you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, Ty and I's bank account was hacked and they pretty much drained every cent that we had. So it took a while to get it situated and, but we did get all of our money back. So we're back to normal. We ended up having to get, we didn't end up getting a new bank account because it was just the debit card that was compromised. So we still have the same account, but we all got new debit cards and stuff. So it's just been a mess the past week, but we are straightened out. And we're good now so i got paid today so we're going to be stuffing 685 dollars so let's just go ahead and get started and i got some new envelopes i went over them on instagram but i know that some of you guys either don't have instagram or you don't follow me over there so i did get some new envelopes and you'll see some of them today like this one is new. Um, I just wanted somewhere to put my money instead of the ugly bank envelope, and especially because it has my local bank on it. So I didn't want to use that one in my videos. But let's just go ahead and get started counting. So we have one, two, three. Fifty, one, fifty. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, these 10s are brand new. 10, 20, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we are good. We have 685. Okay, so... Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I ended up cutting all of the zippers off of my variable expenses. I love this wallet. I got it from the Aesthetic Dollar, if you're new. And I love the wallet, but I had so many envelopes in here that it was very bulky and they were all bending because of the zippers. So I ended up cutting them off. So the only one that has a zipper is my bank envelope. And I only put this in here on Fridays. So I don't really carry that one around, but I love them now. So if I ever do get new envelopes way down the line, I'm going to end up getting ones that don't have zippers on them. So let's just get started into the stuffing. Let me get my cheat sheet. So let's start with groceries. Groceries is getting its typical 325. That's a nice 20. There we go. So we have one, two, three, twenty-five. And if you're wondering if the money slips out, it does not. I did the shake test to make sure that once I cut the zippers off, the money still stays in. Gas is just getting 50. I'll use this one. This is just for me. Ty prefers to keep her money in her spending account. She's not a big cash person. She's all about the convenience of just being able to whip your card out. So then household. Household is getting 30. These are all pretty good. I went to the bank closest to my job instead of our house. Sometimes, it just depends. Sometimes I, if I go to the one closer to our house, I end up with like really rough bills. But it just depends. Then we have health. Health is just getting 20. I think Ty is the only one that has a prescription that needs picked up. So 20 should be fine. But how rude of me. I didn't even ask how you guys are doing. Please let me know how you guys are doing. I hope you guys had a good week and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will be working the next seven days in a row. So 
I'll be pretty tired over this way, but I'll survive. It'll be worth it next Friday on payday. <laughs> Starbucks is getting 15. I really want to keep these tens for like a sinking fund. They're so nice. Starbucks is just getting that. Um, and I just am finishing up my July uh, spreadsheet. And for the month, we're over or we're at our limit for stuff. But because this week runs into the next month, I feel like we should be good. Because I don't think, because I work so much, I don't see us going to Starbucks until August. So hopefully that'll stay till August. Kean is getting 30. I don't think he needs anything, but I honestly might use this to buy him a Spider-Man stuffed stuffy because we were at an amusement park yesterday and he was trying so hard to win the Spider-Man stuffed, like a stuffed Spider-Man, and he just could not win the game. The game was like impossible. You know how the amusement park games are. They try to make them as hard as they can. And he just could not get it. And he was so devastated and he cried for so long after he couldn't get it. So I may, if he doesn't need anything, I may use that to buy him. Um, I found a spider, a stuffed Spider-Man at Target for like $19.99. So I might end up getting him that. Miscellaneous is getting $25. That restaurants, I don't know what happened. I think we got pizza or something. I don't remember. We got Chinese food, one of the two. But we're over in restaurants. So restaurants is not getting touched. Back to bank, honestly, this groceries might be going back to bank by tomorrow, depending on if I feel like getting groceries or not. Just being honest, I've been using pickup and delivery quite a bit here lately because I've been working. So I worked an eight day stretch, then I had one day off. Now I'm on a seven day stretch. So don't know what's gonna be happening with groceries. Now we're going to be going on to our High priority sinking funds. So emergency fund is getting 50. I use this one. So I still plan on stuffing 50 a week in here. So 51, 52. That's right. Whenever our bank account was compromised, we weren't able to use um, that debit account and it had most of our money in it. So Ty ended up taking a hundred out of here and I need to put that back. Note to self when I'm editing this, I need to put a hundred dollars into emergency fund. <laughs> then car maintenance, car maintenance is getting 20. I'll use this because this is getting spent next week. I need an oil change. I'll use one of those ones. 20, 40, 60, 80. And that's perfect. My oil change is usually like 65. I'm telling you, every time we get a decent amount in here, well, not really a decent amount, but anytime we get anything over like $40 in here, it is gone. But at least we have it. So here is a new sinking fund that I have. License and registration. So... It should be licenses, but I thought of it like whenever you get pulled over, they say license and registration. So the reason why I started this was because my nursing license is due to be renewed in October. And I think it's like $120 in Pennsylvania. Not sure. I haven't really looked into it. I just been, have been doing my continued education credits right now. But I know I need to have over $100 saved for that by October. So this will also be used for our like life driver's license, our car registration, our inspection, anything like that. Maybe not inspection. I might put inspection and car maintenance. Haven't decided yet, but today it's going to be getting 75. And that's because Ty just informed me that her car's registration is up in July. So I have three days to handle that. So this will be spent by the next time you see it. <laughs> by the next time you see this envelope, this money won't even be in here anymore. Then we have vacation. Vacation is getting 25. 
Hmm, who's this one? The vacation now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 5, 20, 15, 20. 120 in vacation, which is nice. This is just our spending money for vacation. We just want to have some extra cash set aside for that. And that's all I'm stuffing in here. And then we have one more. Let's see if it stands up now. Okay. Okay. Then this one, I this orange one, I switched to our holiday binder. So originally I had an envelope that was just titled holidays, but I didn't know I did I could have maybe gotten like the dividers for it, but it was just driving me insane that I didn't have the specific holidays. So now I have Halloween. So because Halloween is the next big holiday that we kind of spend on, I took the money that was in holidays and put it in Halloween. So Halloween now has 15. Thanksgiving is empty. And today I'm going to be putting $20 in Christmas. So Christmas now has 20, 40, 60, 81. And if you're new here and you're panicking that I only have $100 saved for Christmas, this is the first year that we've ever saved for Christmas. My wife gets um, quarterly bonuses and we always use her November bonus for Christmas. So this year we decided that we wanted to have a little bit more saved for Christmas so that we're not just dependent on her bonus. So we started probably around, I think April, we started saving for Christmas. So hopefully we'll have a few hundred in here by the time Christmas comes around. And then just to show you what's left in the holiday binder, we have Ty's birthday, which is two weeks before Christmas, Kean's birthday, which is in January, Easter, my birthday, which just passed, and special occasions. And special occasions is like baby showers, birthdays outside of our own, outside of our own, and things like that. So that is all for today's video. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm doing a giveaway if you made it this far in the video. So when I went through and got a couple new envelopes, I ended up realizing that I had some envelopes that we don't really use. So hopefully you can see these. So I have extra debt. So I have extra debt clothing, holidays, rollover, and fun. And I apologize that they are in different fonts and different colors. They are from two different shops, but I'm going to be giving these envelopes away to anyone who enters and wants them. So if you are interested in possibly winning these envelopes, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you are publicly subscribed to my channel. If you don't know how to make sure you're publicly subscribed, you can definitely look it up on YouTube. I hadn't realized that I wasn't publicly subscribed to any of the channels that I was subscribed to, but just uh, YouTube it and they'll let you know how to do it. And then I want you to leave any type of flower emoji in the comments and then tell me what are your plans this weekend. My plans are I'm working all weekend, but hopefully you don't have to work all weekend and you have something fun planned. So let me know that and I will contact you on Instagram possibly. So if you feel comfortable leaving your Instagram handle, please do. But um, I will end up making a community post on who wins, just like I did last giveaway. And then I will contact you that way. On Instagram is just the easiest because I don't have to worry about like, you know, it's just hard to, I've seen people do giveaways on YouTube and then they leave a comment. And then you, there's so many like scammer accounts that will make an account that looks exactly like yours and then tell somebody that they won something, but they, it's not actually the person that's doing the giveaway. But anyways, I will see you guys in my July recap and August budget with me. That will be up possibly this weekend, maybe Monday. Haven't decided yet. I haven't even filmed it yet, but it will be coming. But I hope you guys are all doing well. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my budget with me. Bye.